Hi everyone, this is Zeus the Sparky over here. In today's quick tutorial, we're going to be learning about um, a new set of instruction blocks. They're called um, Boolean operations. Basically, they work on um, both uh, wait true true and false values. Basically, we're and we're getting true and false inputs and creating true and false outputs. So basically, that's what Boolean operations are meant to do. Okay, here's the most simplest one: the not. Okay. So um, in um, computer science, um, they use these logic tables. They called they call truth tables. So okay, truth tables. Okay, wrong one. Okay, so truth tables here. Okay, so um, what we what we get is um, we get our um, we get our boolean operation. We got the three simple ones: and, or, and not. Okay, with um, okay, so. Just let me. Okay, so with the not, okay, if, okay, I one's the in, just say I one's the input, I two is another input. Okay, so with not only uses one input. Um, so if um, if I one is true, then the output's gonna be false. If I one is false, the output's gonna be true. So basically, opposite to what the input is. With and, um, we use two inputs. Okay, so with this, it, the only time it's going to be true is when um, two of the inputs are true. So I1 and I2 both have to be true. If one of them aren't true, then uh, yeah, it's going to be false. What's a, it's The only way for it to be true is for all its inputs to be true. With the OR, um, it's similar to AND, but you need at least one one true, true value from one of the inputs. So true, true equals true, true, false equals true, false, true equals true false false equals false so if there's no true values within the inputs then it's gonna equal false so let's um let's see this in action okay so okay we got the not over here okay i1 so when it's energized it means true when it's de-energized means false and outputs of course the output so let's see this in action okay press play okay so here we see um there's no the inputs false so the outputs true Okay, so when we press this button, the input will be true, and the output becomes false. It's too simple. Okay, so let's try the other two. Okay, so bring another rug in there. Bring another input in there. Use a different input button. O one, O O O one. Okay, and uh, two different instruction blocks. We have and. And we have another one which is OR. OR. Or right over here. Okay, so it requires a second input. So, so over here, I created a um, variable called truth, which um, has the initial value being false. So, well, what are we going to expect from this? So, for truth's false on this, and um, Okay, so with AND we know two of the inputs need to be true for it to um for its output to be true. <laughs> Since truth is false, on I one's only going to be true if we press the push button, right? So that's not that's not going to be true either way. It's going to be false whether I push the button or not. Or yeah, or it's going to be off well, because it requires at least one true value. It's going to be off if I don't press the pr push button, but it's going to become true once I push the push button. Okay, so let's see this baby at work. Okay, let's see. Okay, so both the values um, and block is false, and um, or block is false, and both the truth values are false, as I said. So we press this one here, it's going to be false, like I said, but or is going to change true once um, I press the value. Okay, so yeah that's that's it that's how these controllers will work if you want a better understanding of this um i suggest reading the content in my in the youtube description it's going to give you more uh more certainty on how these um uh, and and or um boolean operations work it's a very popular concept in a lot of logic logical systems like in computer science and in programming they also brought this concept into um, PLC programming just for the fact that machines rec 
require that sort of logical thinking like oh if some if this works then if this works and this works then this is allowed to work if that's at least one of these operations are working then this should work um or if, or just say if a if a sensor senses someone in the machine then it doesn't want the machine running so it probably use the not the not operator so yeah there's a lot of applications for these blocks and these are just as um the most um simplified ones uh we can get to the most complex one, complex ones in other videos if you like this video please like it please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and leave any comments below if you have any questions thank you this is Zeus sparky and i'll see you next time